Dzień dobry, jesteśmy na targach Pro Light and Sound Frankfurt 2015 na stoisku firmy Maya Sound, którą dystrybuje firma Polsound i chcielibyśmy Wam przedstawić dzisiaj najnowszą linię produktów z serii Leo, czyli najnowszy Leopard i 900 LFC. Naszym gościem jest Luke Jenks, który jest product managerem w tej całej linii. Ok, Luke, hello, nice um, to have you here. Uh, thank you very much for, for, for spending some time with us. And um, ok, Leopard, but this is part of a bigger family, right? Can you say something about, about Leo, about the family? Oh, absolutely, it's a pleasure, pleasure, and thank you for coming by. Um, yeah, we, are, we went uh, embarked on a mission to take technology and apply as much of it as we could to make the best result possible but not to allow those technologies to become a complexity for the users or a complexity for the audience. And when we started with Leopard, we wanted to make the most powerful system in the world. But we also wanted to make one that was extremely refined. Leopard, now following in this family, follows in this line of this prestige. And the, the status of Leo, the status of Lion which followed it, were these incredibly powerful two-way systems. These are pretty much coaxial systems, honestly. You know, it's just uh, the same thing that Meyer Sound did with technology to allow compression drivers to act like ribbon drivers because we needed the power. Ribbon em emulation. The ribbon emulation manifold, exactly. We're looking at the same type of thing here. Coaxial drivers are wonderful, but there's intermodulation. There's issues that come with those things. We've managed to make a package that uses all the advantages of being symmetrical, of incredible imaging and power with with this refinement, without passing along these complications. And as the family moves forward, uh, the, the market that it applies to becomes more and more broad. Okay, but what does this mean to the, to, to the actual final user? How can he, what, he has more headroom, he has more, let's say, linearity in, in, in the system? Well, it's always our goal not to play a role in the art. We want to take the signal and we just want to make it much louder. And we want to make it clean and we want everyone to have that, that experience. No one should leave a show if we've done our job well and helped our clients do their job well. They shouldn't leave the show saying, that's the best sound system I ever heard. They should leave saying, that's the best concert I've been to. That's what makes us happy. Okay, there's, there's some kind of gossip about uh, native mode. Can you describe maybe what this is means? Oops. Native mode is not what we just heard. <laughs> that's what it sounds like when you don't use native mode. Native mode is, it's a very exciting thing. Um, Meyer Sound has always been uh, a, tech, a company very into education, a, a company very into answering questions you know when they're asked. Yes, and, <laughs> and in, in Poland we've done some of our most incredible seminars with some of the best attendants. And it's been, it's been incredible. Buford Jones has been there. But one thing that could be a criticism of Meyer Sound is when you always lead with the complicated things you can handle, when you always lead with, wow, well in this difficult situation you could do this, sometimes you're just presenting a complicated picture. And what's native mode, what's so exciting is you can take an array of Leopards and 900s, which we have next to me here, whether it was just these three and the one 900, whether I had an array of 16, if I was in a hurry and there was no time, I could take one cable, link them all together, these are self-powered systems, and it will sound beautiful. Any standard array will sound beautiful out of the box. And this was some of the most enjoyable work I've ever been a part of. And it's something that we owe to people. This system, the Leopard system has a home on almost every show. Whether it's a fill system on a very large show, whether it's the main system on a medium or smaller show, it has a job at every one of them. But it cannot slow things down. When it's that job, this is a much wider market for it to apply to. When you make a giant line array, only so many people in the world need giant speakers. This is a speaker that's going to be at home everywhere, and if you're familiar with the UPA, which is a very successful speaker from Meyer Sound, its largest success was the financial people love it because when they buy it, people want to use it, customers don't complain. The technical people love it because they can count on it for a result. As line arrays came out, they tended to get blamed for complications. And it was our job to make the UPA of line arrays, to make that thing for the financial people, the technical people, they're all so important and the audience is the most important. And so what we've done here, we're very, very proud of it. And like all things, talking about speakers is not exciting as listening to them. Uh, look forward to bringing it to Poland. Uh, one final question. I see that you have um, parted with the typical kind of box design. 
Well, now we have a trapezoidal, which is, by the way, a, a, a patent that, 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 that John Mayer made initially, right? Everyone had copied that. Oh, can you comment on that? Well, absolutely. I mean, with these systems being, being smaller, they need to stay very compact. And we can't afford any extra space for them, and we can't afford... We also, with, with systems where we don't use a trapezoidal box, it's generally because we want to be able to do rigging on the ground. Other things take priority. In this case, aesthetics take extreme priority. Ease of rigging, this is only a 34 kilo box. This is a self-powered speaker. Anyone familiar with our Melody system, we're talking twice the power of that system at almost the same weight. So this is equivalent weight to a non-self-powered loudspeaker. So this combination means that the, the reasons for not using self-powered would be weight or heat or some reason in the old days like this. This is a digital amplifier, there is no heat. 10 leopards can run off a 20 amp at, at 220 volts. 10. It's a super efficient, super green, super modern, incredibly powerful system. You don't have any fans inside there? There's a circulation fan, but it does not operate at any time when you could possibly hear it. Okay. So it's, it's, it's just it's the same technology that you've seen in UPQs and things like that in the past, where it's a quiet, cool fan. Meaning that only when the speaker is at extremely high levels would any circulation happen. Yeah. But digital amplifier, it's not for cooling down amplifiers. Yeah. Right? You want to keep some heat off transducers and things like that. But the amplifier hardly puts out any heat. This is a true open-ended digital amplifier. And open-ended is, ever want to read up on things? I don't want to be too much of a geek uh, yeah. you know, now, but yeah. that's an impressive thing we've done here. And we're very proud of it. But we want for the, the audience and for our users we want them just to enjoy the benefits of it, not to have to figure them out, Absolutely. you know? Well, thank you very, very much, Duke. It's a pleasure, and dziękujemy pięknie wszystkim za uwagę. I do zobaczenia w Polsce na pokazach Leoparda.